Hi guys, welcome back to our O-Level Physics series. Today, we will be touching on Centre of Gravity. So what is the centre of gravity of an object? It is basically the point which its whole weight appears to act. Basically, the point of centre of gravity is to make things simpler. Say for the case of this object, instead of considering all the component weight for each portion of this object, we can take all its weight to come from just one point, which is its centre of gravity. So, how do we find the centre of gravity of any object? Let's take this object for instance. We will hang it on three different points, and draw a straight line down for each of these three hangs. The intersection of these three lines will be the centre of gravity of this object. So, what's the point of finding the centre of gravity of an object? Firstly, it simplifies things because we can take its whole weight to just act from that one point. But also, it affects the stability of an object. So, what exactly is stability? It basically is a measure of an object's ability to return to its original position after it is slightly displaced. I know it sounds a little complicated, but fret not. Let's take this cone for example. So Jill did not see the cone and accidentally brushed against it. But as we see here, it isn't knocked over. Instead, it remains standing. Hence, we can say that this cone is pretty stable as it is able to return to its original position, even after a slight knock by Jill. Have you ever thought about how a race car can move at such fast speeds and yet not be toppled over? It is because of two characteristics of the race car. Firstly, it has a wide base. And secondly, more mass is packed at the bottom, making its centre of gravity lower. So now, we know that a lower centre of gravity will make an object more stable. And this brings us to the three types of equilibrium when it comes to the stability of an object. First, we have stable equilibrium. Let's take this cone right here for example. A force that intends to knock it over will result in the centre of gravity rising above its original before returning to its original height as it seeks to return to its lower centre of gravity. Second, unstable equilibrium. We all know this cone right here is unstable because a slight disturbance will cause it to fall. And that's because of its high centre of gravity. And when disturbed, its centre of gravity will drop to seek a lower height. Third, neutral equilibrium. This is the case where pushing the cone will not change the height of its centre of gravity. So, this brings us to the end of the video. Do smash our like button down below and remember to subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching.